Next, we're going to look at an update modifier called trace. And trace allows us to take a change that we've made for a channel and go back through a track and update the move instruction that created that track so that we can actually make changes several queues back. Let's look at some examples. I'm going to go to queue 36. And I'm going to go ahead and say snapshot 4 to get me set up for some programming. And for our live tab, I'm going to put us in summary view. Zoom that out a little bit. And you can see that all of my psych fixtures are currently at a tracked value of 50%. If I go into blind spreadsheet and I look at channel 301, those lights received a move instruction in Q34 to go to 50%. So if I update trace, what I'm actually going to do is find the move instruction that created the track that I'm in, modify that move instruction, and then that value will continue to track until Q100 when it hits its next move instruction. So let's look at it in live. Let's take our all psych group at slash 50, which as we know, we'll put them at 50% of their current value. And I'm going to say update trace enter. And those will store. And as we expect, they are now tracked values at 25. If we go back into blind spreadsheet and look at 301, you'll see that we actually modified the move instruction in Q34 and then allowed those values to track through. And before we go out into live, let's look at our channels in our next example. So I'm going to hit my side mids group selection, and that's going to take me over to my first channel in that group, which is 141. You'll notice that channel 141 isn't on in this queue. And so we do some special handling with trace in this instance. If we were to say channel 141 at full trace enter, you'll notice it's going to track forward just like a normal move instruction. Again, because the light's at zero, we're not going to go all the way back to the move instruction unless we have special instances to do so. So I'm going to undo that. So back out in live, if we were to grab our side mids, put them at full, and change them to green. Because they weren't on, I have to force this trace to take hold. So I'm going to say update, trace, trace. And that's going to tell the board that I want to turn these lights on all the way back to their previous zero move instruction. If I hit enter, go back into blind, and look at 141, you'll notice that I changed the move instructions all the way up in Q32. Also, don't forget that trace will allow you to modify move instructions into a block, but not past it. Trace is sometimes described as a track backwards tool, and that's not completely accurate because you'll notice that while it does go back and change the move instruction that created the track that you're in, it also allows it to continue tracking forward until acted upon by another move instruction. But there is a way that we can get a true track backwards. So while we're in blind, I'm going to go ahead and say 141, and I'm going to put it at 50. And I'm going to use trace Q only to modify this. Trace is going to say, go up to the move instruction that created this track and modify it. And Q only is going to say, add a move instruction in Q37 that puts me back to where I was before you made the changes. And when I hit enter, you'll see that I get two move instructions. In live, I would make my manual changes and use the command update trace queue only.